day today, getting start kicking off the day with a nice smoothie. So racing doesn't start till about 11.30, which is quite late for us. So I'm just going to start off with a smoothie and then probably have another snack a bit close to the time. So I just wanted to run over with you what I have in my smoothie. So I tried to bring as much stuff with me from work as well, from work from home as possible. But um, yeah, there's only so much you can stuff into the car. So what I have in here, so I have um, some natural sweeteners to keep my energy up. So I've got banana, I've got dates. So dates are really good for stabilizing, controlling your blood sugar levels. So I've got bananas, dates and blueberries. And the blueberries also have lots of vitamin C um, and antioxidants and things like that that will help with recovery and you know the, how your muscles respond during the race. So those are my natural sweeteners. I've got spinach and that's always a really good um, source of energy. So lots of B vitamins. It's got magnesium, which also helps for your muscle recovery. It's got calcium to help with contraction. So yeah, so lots of all rounders in there. We've also got our protein sources. So I've got cashew nuts, chia seeds, and I've also got almond milk in there. So those are my protein sources. They're also full of lots of essential minerals. So you again, you're going to get things like magnesium and calcium, zinc, lots of different things. So I could be, I could go on and on about the benefits of nuts and seeds. But so I've got those in there. And again, the protein will help stabilize my blood sugar levels. So rather than me getting all my energy right now it's going to slow down the release and spread it out so that I can kind of maintain my energy leading up to racing so it's really good to include some a good protein source natural protein source and also the fats in there will do exactly the same thing so yeah it's something that has good pro good fats good proteins and some really natural sources of sugar so the fruit is the only sugar I have in here I haven't added honey or maple syrup or anything else I've also added coconut water in, just for the electrolytes that you can get from the coconut water. And again, like I, you know, I'm going to be on the beach for a long time, so I will be in the sun and I'll be sweating, so I'll be losing electrolytes through my sweat. So it's really important that you keep up your electrolyte balance as well while you're racing. And yeah, so that's pretty much everything. Oh, one more thing, I've got almond butter in here. So again, nuts, another source of nuts. And I use the butter rather than the whole nuts just to help thicken up the smoothie too because I've got, I do have almond milk and coconut milk, coconut water in there. So yeah, so that's that's my smoothie. So, we, so what I need to do basically for today is help stabilize my energy throughout a long day on the beach. So I do surf boat rowing for surf life saving and our competition days can go for hours so we're starting 11 30 we may not finish until around two three o'clock and we'll have it could even go for later and we could have up to five races but each race we're going at our maximum and we could have anywhere between half an hour to an hour between each round so that's where the challenge comes in is keeping up our energy in between each race and not feeling sluggish and tired and like our muscles are very heavy so not only do we have to focus on what we're eating to keep our energy levels good throughout the day but also have some good recovery methods to make sure that we do, our legs and our muscles don't stiffen up so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take you around the beach with me and give you a day in the life of me at one of my competitions and if you're in a similar situation then I hope you can use some of my nutrition and recovery techniques for the next time.
get lactic acid flowing out. So, and then we can watch racing while we're in there. off from the beach now we've just finished racing we got second so we've got a silver medal as you can see rocking my medal and um, so today obviously went really well we we would have liked to first but we can handle a second you can see all the boats are now packed up for the day I'm gonna go home I'll show you what I'm gonna have as my post racing lunch I guess it's quite a late lunch it's 3 30 now so yeah so I'll show you what I'm gonna have post recovery to help myself gear up for tomorrow so we've got another day of racing tomorrow and it's going to be short course today was long course so i will see you guys when we're back at home just got back to the house so i've prepped my my post racing snack so i've got if you can see here i've got my um seed crackers that i put up on my instagram and facebook page just the other day so that's lots of protein and all the seeds that are in there. And also I've layered that with some hummus, just some plain hummus, um, a slice of cheese and a slice of avocado and some tomatoes. So what I try to focus on post racing and post exercise is getting a range of different nutrients. So rather than focusing on just sugar, we know that that's gonna give you all the um, energy and things that you need straight away but it's not gonna help to replenish what you've used up in that day. So you've used protein, you've used up pretty much most nutrients in your body to keep your muscles contracting and to keep you alert throughout the day. So like I mentioned earlier, things like magnesium and calcium for muscle contraction and relaxation, all those kinds of um, small nutrients are vital and are gonna play a role in how well you recover. So in here, I've got a good mix of proteins and fats I've also got carbohydrates because it is very important that you get a bit of carbohydrates so that initially will replenish the muscles um, and you'll use that the next time that you exercise I've also got um, lots of minerals and other nutrients in here so and they're all really key and I could list them all but I would be it take me ages but lots of minerals so like I said before zinc magnesium calcium uh, potassium sodium really important to get your electrolytes as well and yeah so that so that's just a quick snack that i'm gonna have now um we, dinner's not too far around the corner and i will show you what we're gonna have for dinner to fuel up for tomorrow and i'm gonna jump in the bath and have a nice cold bath to help with the recovery of recovery of my legs and yeah so that's pretty much what i'm doing at the moment so i'm gonna have my snack have a bath 
and then I'm going to relax and think about getting things prepped for tomorrow for another day of racing. Now it's not just food that's really important when you're trying to look after yourself post exercise, um, especially for us on a big day on the beach we've had a lot of um, sun and we, you know, it's getting really hot. It was in the we started in the middle of the day around 11:30 or mid morning, and so water. Water is another really great thing you need to keep your focus on. So you want to be having, they say, at least another litre per hour of exercise that you've done. So that can include water that you're having throughout the exercise, and then you want to continue that on afterwards. So for us, we've been out there for four hours today. We weren't going, we weren't exercising straight for four hours. So for us, I would continue drinking on into the night and, ha and try and aim to get at least another one to two liters before going to bed. So I've also got, I've got coconut water here as you can see. So you can mix it up between normal water and coconut water. You know, coconut water has a lot of essential um, electrolytes that are gonna help you replenish your muscles and also help you feel hydrated a lot quicker, which will aid in your recovery for tomorrow. So one of the things, if you're not hydrating enough, it will reflect in your performance. It will make you feel sluggish. Your reaction times won't be the same and you won't be able to put as much effort in. So drinking water is just as important as the food that you're eating so make sure you're getting enough water and yeah be aware of it when you've finished exercising so i've had some good recovery food and i've had a cold bath to help my muscles recover for tomorrow so now I'm gonna go to bed, recover some more, and get ready for day two. See you later. such a short period of time so um, I think I told you um, just previously that we have a really quick turnaround so we could have like up to half an hour between races and in that time we're helping other people with boats and we're out in the sun so it's really really important we stay hydrated and we keep our energy up so 
so that we're ready to go 100% in the next race. So I'll just show you some of the things that I did snack on throughout the day because I didn't get the chance. So one of my main go-tos are these um, Tom and Luke cacao and peanut butter snack balls. So you can see them on there. So I tend to have one of those right before, maybe like 10 minutes before my race is about to start. So it has, it's, it's high in energy, so high in sugar. Uh, good sugars though, which is the good thing about these. So I know I'm going to have a faster release of energy when I need it. So that is one of my big go-tos. Uh, so, and then I do when I get the chance snack on something that's a little bit more dense, more protein kind of fat based, and that will keep me, my, you know, some energy in the tank throughout the day. So I have, so if you've seen me on Instagram and also on um, Facebook, you'll see the homemade granola that I made. So I've been snacking on that and I also had that pretty much straight after all the racing had finished. It was something really easy I could grab out of the bag and I could start eating straight away and I was getting protein and good fats to help my recovery. So that was one of the things I had post. Uh, another good thing for during the competition was just a snack on a banana, but I also combined it with some peanut butter. So you can just have the pieces with peanut butter. It's really simple. Not, you know, you don't have to overthink it and it's easy to take down to the beach. So I had that, so that's another good idea. And also on top of the food, so I didn't actually have too much in terms of food in between, just because we don't have a lot of time to sit down and just eat and snack. So it's really important that you don't feel full and heavy going into your next race. So it's a very, and a very tactical in the way that you eat on these kind of competition days and you might find that in different sports you can apply this as well. So I had to, so I stuck to the snack balls and I stuck to the peanut butter and banana for during the day, during the racing. And then after all the racing you've finished, it's really, really important that you, within that first 30 minutes of finishing all exercise, you get a bit of carbs and you get your protein to help your recovery. If you don't get anything within that time frame, you're really, really letting down your muscle recovery and also the benefits that you've just gained from all the racing you've done, especially if you've reached some personal bests and you've really pushed yourself hard. So within that 30 minutes, like I said, I had the homemade scrogan. I also had down at the beach um, some hummus and some carrots, so carbs and protein. I also had my homemade crackers, so I'll show you those. Homemade crackers right here, so they were really yummy. And I combined that with cheese and hummus and a tomato, and that was really good post-race. So I had that, and then I also had on standby, because you just never know what you're gonna feel like or what you're gonna grab, were some other crackers. So these brown rice crackers from Ceres Organics, they are delicious. Very strange flavor, green tea and seaweed, but surprisingly I find them a really tasteful combination. And the brown rice um, will have lots of energy in it, but it's slow releasing, so you won't feel that peak of energy and then come back down again after having, like after having white rice. So white rice is more of a, a fast releasing food, so the brown rice is slower. Um, so to help you just get back on top of your energy levels and help you recover, so those are some of the foods that I have after um, my competition and then when I get home I'll have something a bit more substantial. So I had um, so I, I had like a salad and that prepared to have with some meat when I got home and then I'll have a break, so just a small meal and then I'll have dinner later and make sure I have a good decent dinner before I go to bed. So that, those are kind of the foods that I have on a competition day and the other big important thing is your water intake. So for us, we were out in the sun all day, we were losing a lot um, of water, so we have to keep on top of our hydration. And so I think throughout the day I probably had three to four litres of water. So There's a lot to have in the space of, what time do we start? 12 o'clock, so two and a half hours, I had three to four litres of water. That's how hot it was and how much I was using up. But you need to keep sipping and hydrating so you don't feel that dry feeling and you don't lose focus and concentration. And you can give your absolute all when it comes to performance time. So what I did combine to my water to help me um, recover and to perform was this Elite. Um, it's like a, it's almost, it's like an electrolyte fluid. So you can see that one there. And I add 
add so many drops to my my water and it's got all the electrolytes that you need so it's got magnesium chloride potassium sodium zinc and sulfate but there's absolutely no sugar at all so sugar can actually inhibit your recovery so it's really good to have like a low sugar option but also have all the electrolytes in there as well so i tend to go with this i can add it to normal water it's really simple um, so yeah so i put that in at the start of the day and i'll sip on that through the, out the entire day that i'm competing okay so that is pretty much in a nutshell what i eat on the beach during a competition what i'll eat afterwards and also my water intake so and one thing i forgot to mention last night when i was doing my recovery is that after having my cold bath and after having a good meal i will put some magnesium so you can see here i've got a vlog on magnesium and the benefits of magnesium so if you're interested go over and have a look at solely nutrition on youtube and basically i just rub that all over my legs over my bum over my arms and my back and just let it soak in it got all tingly and itchy because i was i'd used up a lot of magnesium that day but it's really good for helping your muscles relax and to help the recovery process as well so i put that on i let it soak in for at least half an hour and then i jumped in the shower and washed it off um, before going to bed and making sure i had a really good quality sleep okay so yeah so that's that's everything so both competition days are complete we've come away with a silver medal we did really well today didn't get a podium position but we're very happy with our performance so we're just going to keep pushing eating well training well and keep our heads in the game until nationals in march and i will be taking you guys along with me so hold on till there